Baltistan Urdu, Baltistan Balti, also known as Baltiul or Little Tibet Balti, is a mountainous region on the border of Pakistan-controlled Kashmir and Indian-controlled Kashmir in the Karakoram Mountains just south of K2 the world's second highest mountain. Baltistan borders Gilgit to the west, Xinjiang China in the north, Ladakh on the southeast and the Kashmir Valley on the southwest. Its average altitude is over 3,350 meters (10,990 feet). Prior to 1947, Baltistan was part of the princely state of Jammu and Kashmir, having been conquered by Raja Gulab Singh's armies in 1840. Baltistan and Ladakh were administered jointly under one Wazirat district of the state. Baltistan retained its identity in this setup as the Skardu Tessel, with Kargil and Leh being the other two tessils of the district. After the Maharaja of Jammu and Kashmir acceded to India, Gilgit scouts overthrew the Maharaja's governor in Gilgit and with Azad Kashmir's irregular forces captured Baltistan. The Gilgit Agency and Baltistan have been governed by Pakistan ever since. The Kashmir Valley and the Kargil and Leh Tessils were retained by India. A small portion of Baltistan, including the village of Turdik in the Nubra Valley, was incorporated into Ladakh after the Indo Pakistani War of 1971. The region is inhabited primarily by Balti people of Tibetan descent. Millennia old Tibetan culture, customs, norms, language, and scripts still exist, although the vast majority of the population follows Islam. Baltistan is strategically significant to Pakistan and India, the Kargil and Siachen Wars were fought there. The region is the setting for Greg Mortensen's book, Three Cups of Tea. Geography <inaudible> 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 The 1911 Encyclopædia Britannica characterizes Baltistan as the western extremity of Tibet, whose natural limits are the Indus River from its abrupt southward bend around the map. 35.86 degrees north, 74.72 degrees east, 35.86, 74.72 bend in the Indus course, and the mountains to the north and west. These features separate a comparatively peaceful Tibetan population from the fiercer Indo Aryan tribes to the west. Muslim writers around the 16th century speak of Baltistan as the ''Little Tibet'' and of Ladakh as the ''Great Tibet'' emphasizing their ethnological similarity. According to Ahmad Hassan Dani, Baltistan spreads upwards from the Indus River and is separated from Ladakh by the Siachen Glacier. It includes the Indus Valley and the lower valley of the Shyok River. Baltistan is a rocky mass of lofty mountains, the prevailing formation being gneiss. In the north is the Baltoro Glacier, the largest out of the Arctic regions, 35 miles 56 km long, contained between two ridges whose highest peaks to the south are 25,000 feet 7, meters and to the north 28,265 feet 8, meters. .The Indus River runs in a narrow gorge, widening after receiving the Shyok River at 35.23 degrees north 75.92 degrees east, 35.23, 75.92 Shyok joins Indus. It then forms a 20-mile crescent-shaped plain varying between 1 mile and 5 miles wide. The main inhabitable valleys of Karming Kaplu, Skardu and Roundu are along the roots of these rivers. Valleys and districts Degree Although under Indian control since 1971, geographically, the Turdic part of Shyok Valley, is part of Baltistan region. History For centuries, Baltistan consisted of small, independent valley states connected by the blood relationships of its rulers rajas, trade, common beliefs and cultural and linguistic bonds. The states were subjugated by the Dagra rulers of Kashmir during the 19th century. On 29 August 2009 the Government of Pakistan announced the creation of Gilgit-Baltistan, a provincial autonomous region with Gilgit as its capital and Skardu its largest city. Baltistan was known as Little Tibet, and the name was extended to include Ladakh. Ladakh later became known as Great Tibet. Locally, Baltistan is known as Baltiul and Ladakh and Baltistan are known as Marul. Red Country. Topic Origins. 
Tibetan Kampa entered in Kaplu through Chorbet Valley and Dardic tribes came to Baltistan through Roundu Valley from Gilgit prior to civilization, and these groups eventually settled down, creating the Balti people. Today, the people of Karming and western Kaplu have Tibetan features and those in Skardu, Shigar and the eastern villages of Kaplu are Dards. It was believed that the Balti people were in the sphere of influence of Zhangzheng. Baltistan was controlled by the Tibetan king Songsen Gampo during the 7th century AD. Culturally influenced by Tibet, the Bon and animist Baltis began to adopt Tibetan Buddhism. Religious artifacts such as gampas and stupas were built, and lamas played an important role in Balti life. During the 14th century, Muslim scholars from Kashmir crossed Baltistan's mountainous terrain to spread Islam. The Karming came under the control of the Namgul royal family and developed a close relationship with Ladakh when the Raja of Ladakh, Jamyang Mangyal, attacked the principalities in Kargil. Mangyal annihilated the Skardu garrison at Karbu and put to the sword a number of petty Muslim rulers in the principalities of Purik Ali Sher Khan Anchan, Raja of Kaplu and Shigar, left with a strong army via Mural. Passing the Ladakhi army, he occupied Leh the capital of Ladakh and the Raja of Ladakh was taken prisoner. Ali Sher Khan Anchan included Gilgit and Chitral in his kingdom of Baltistan, reportedly a flourishing country. The valley from Kepshni to Kachura was flat and fertile, with abundant fruit trees. The sandy desert now extending from Sundas to Skardu Airport was a prosperous town. Skardu had hardly recovered from the shock of the death of Anchan when it was flooded. In 1845, the area was seized by the Dagras. Tourism Skardu has several tourist resorts and many natural features, including plains, mountains and mountain valley lakes. The Diose Plain, Satpara Lake and Basho also host tourists. North of Skardu, the Shigar Valley offers plains, hiking tracks, peaks and campsites. Other valleys in Baltistan region are Kaplu, Rondu, Kachura Lake and Karming. Glaciers <laughs> 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 Baltistan is a rocky wilderness of around 27,000 square miles square kilometers, with the largest cluster of mountains in the world and the biggest glaciers outside the polar regions. The Himalayas advance into this region from India, Tibet and Nepal, and north of them are the Karakoram Range. Both ranges run northwest, separated by the Indus River. Along the Indus and its tributaries are many valleys. Glaciers include Baltoro Glacier, Biafo Glacier, Siachen Glacier, Trango Glacier and Godwin Austin Glacier. Topic: <inaudible> Mountaineering. Baltistan is home to more than 20 peaks of over 20,000 feet (6,100 meters), including K2, the second highest mountain on earth. Other well-known peaks include Masherbrum also known as K1, Broad Peak, Hidden Peak, Gasherbrum 2, Gasherbrum IV and Chogolisa in the Kaplu Valley. The following peaks have been scaled. Topic: <laughs> Demographics. The region has a population of about 322,000. It is a blend of ethnic groups, predominantly Tibetans, Baltis and Monpas. A few Kashmiris settled in Skardu, practicing agriculture and woodcraft. The Yabgo family of Kaplu were from Yarkant County, China. Religion Before the arrival of Islam, Tibetan Buddhism and Bon to a lesser extent were the main religions in Baltistan. Buddhism can be traced back to before the formation of the Tibetan Empire in the region during the 7th century. The region has a number of surviving Buddhist archaeological sites. These include the Manthal Buddha Rock, a rock relief of the Buddha at the edge of the village near Skardu and the sacred rock of Hunza. Nearby are former sites of Buddhist shelters. Islam was brought to Baltistan by Sufi missionaries during the 16th and 17th centuries, and most of the population converted to Norbakshiya Islam. The scholars were followers of the Kubrawiya Sufi order. Most Norbakshi Muslims live in Ganch and Shigar districts, and 30% live in the Skardu district. Uh, 
Topic: <laughs> Fauna. Baltistan has been called a living museum for wildlife. Diose National Park, in the southern part of the region, is habitat for predators since it has an abundant prey population. Domestic animals include yaks including hybrid yaks, cattle, sheep, goats, horses and donkeys. Wild animals include ibex, markhor, musk deer, snow leopards, brown and black bears, jackals, foxes, wolves and marmots. Culture. Balti music and art According to Balti folklore, Mughal princess Gul Khatun known in Baltistan as Mindok Gielmo, Flower Queen brought musicians and artisans with her into the region and they propagated Mughal music and art under her patronage. Musical instruments such as the Sirnay, Karnai, Dhol and Chong were introduced into Baltistan. Dance Classical and other dances are classified as sword dances, brokshos and yakka and ghazal dances. Chago Prashal commemorates a victory by the Makpan Rajas. As a mark of respect, the musician who plays the drum dang plays for a long time. A Makpan princess would occasionally dance to this tune. Gasho Pa, also known as Ghbu's La Corba, is a sword dance associated with the Gasho dynasty of Purik Sneopa, the marriage procession dance by Pachones twelve wazirs who accompany the bride, is performed at the marriage of a raja. Architecture <laughs> 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 Balti architecture has Tibetan and Mughal influences, and its monastic architecture reflects the Buddhist imprint left on the region. Buddhist-style wall paintings can be seen in forts and Norbakshi Kankas, including Chakshan Mosque in Kaplu, Amburak Mosque in Shigar, kanka e muala Shigar, Kaplu Fort, Shigar Fort and Skardu Fort. Polo Polo is popular in Baltistan, and is indigenous to the Karakoram. Makpan ruler Ali Sher Khan Anchan introduced the game to other valleys during his conquests beyond Gilgit and Chitral. <laughs> Media The Pakistan Broadcasting Corporation has radio and television stations in Kaplu that broadcast local programs, and there are a handful of private news outlets. The Daily K2 is an Urdu newspaper published in Skardu serving Gilgit Baltistan for a long time, and it is the pioneer of print media in Gilgit Baltistan. Bad E. Shimmel claims the largest daily circulation in Gilgit and Baltistan. Nawae Sufia is a monthly magazine covering Baltistan's Nurbakshi sect. Notes Bibliography Agarwal, Ravina Beyond Lines of Control, Performance and Politics on the Disputed Borders of Ladakh, India, Duke University Press, pp. 199, ISBN 0-8223-3414-3 Dani, Ahmad Hassan 1998. The Western Himalayan States. In M. S. Asimov, C. E. Bosworth, History of Civilizations of Central Asia, Vol. IV, Part 1. The Age of Achievement, A.D. 750 to the end of the 15th century. The Historical, Social and Economic Setting, UNESCO, pp. 215–225, ISBN 978-92-3-103467-1 Karim, Afsir "'Strategic Dimensions of the Trans-Himalayan Frontiers' in K. Warakoo, Himalayan Frontiers of India, Historical, Geopolitical and Strategic Perspectives, Routledge, pp. 56–66, ISBN 978-1-134-03294-5 Piramshuv, H. S., Dhani, Ahmad Hassan 
the Pamirs, Badakhshan and the Trans Pamir states. In Chariar Adil, Irfan Habib, History of Civilizations of Central Asia, Vol. 5 Development in Contrast, from the 16th to the mid 19th century, UNESCO, pp. 225 246, ISBN 978 92 3 103876 1. External links www.pakistantorsguide.pk Britannica Baltistan